what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel and welcome to what's going to be another big lots video i tried to squeeze a couple of these out this weekend i had some technical difficulties but look at here we got a whole box and why do i have them in this box oh well, i'll get into that in the video so what are we waiting for let's get into this another store i'll show you what i picked up then we'll come back here for the haul let's go So let's get into another big lots. I tried to do this video uh, yesterday. I apologize. I was out of town and didn't get back till late. So yeah, let's head in here. This big lots is always disorganized. They got their movies in stacks. They're not on racks. I'm a poet and didn't know it. Got a World Series release there. Look, they got Preacher on a Blu-ray. We were talking about that recently because it, uh, somebody found it in the Dollar Tree. I think it was Doug. Copper season one. The damn thing, that thing's been crushed. Oh well. Anything else here? Just normal stuff I've already seen. I'm gonna move those in the back so I can maneuver some of this shit. This is the worst disorganization I've ever seen. Got that Jack in the Box release. Look at this shit. They're turned the wrong way. It, I moved some stuff around so we can at least see the spines of some of this stuff. Got a season of Quantum Leap. Got the third season of True Detective. I think I got that in here before. Got a Power Rangers. Got a SpongeBob Christmas. I think the rest of this shit has been in here before. I'm not seeing a lot new. Where's the new stuff? So that means I got to look behind all this shit. Look, there's three rows on this one. It's ridiculous. What do we got down here? Fist fight. Iron Man Spider one. We saw that that comic one. We saw this John Cena one, this Blu-ray at um, the last big lot. So check. They should have some WWE stuff popping up. Do you believe? This is all stuff we've seen before. I've picked up most of that. I see some stuff behind here. Oh, oh what's this? Hey, this is new. American Trader. That's cool. We've got a slip cover. Rogue Hostage with a slip cover. Skylines, unfortunately, no slip cover. The Survivalist. The Cursed. I think we got that in the horror pack recently. Every Breath You Take. Yeah, so this, they got one little stack of new stuff. The Last Victim. Ava. I think I've already got that. Uh, what else we got? So, there are some potential pickups. Got a few more Blu-rays here. Another stack. I think we've seen most of this. City Slicker Spiral 4K. What's back here? Got another little stack I found. 13 Minutes. Uh, Crimes of the Future. Shit, I bought that myself a while back. Spencer. Uh, Breaking. Infinite Storm. Got a damn Royal Rumble. There's some WWE for you. I got all those. And I moved this stack up here. Let's see what was in it. A Garfield 3D feature. Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. Maybe. Some Royal Rumble action from 2023. Some WrestleMania action. Three disc set. WrestleMania. Nine bucks is a little much for me to double dip. I think I got all the WrestleManias on Blu-ray. So we just saw that. You know, that's the stuff I just looked through. Sorry. What else is down here? Anything new? I'm getting excited. Monstrous. We've seen that before. Hey, they got these signs here. Look at this. Movie home theater. I need that. I looked at the back of it just so you know it was 15 bucks, but I think I'm going to hold off on that for now. So I moved another little section and I found this. The Rebel Season. Might get that from my dad. Got a Smackdown. Got the Offering. That's a cool little cover there. Got Elimination Chamber. Attitude Error. We've seen a lot of this. That Undertaker Last Ride, I think, was a Walmart exclusive. And look at that. That's fairly new. Money in the Bank from last year. There's Not this, not this year's WrestleMania, but last year's. 
And then got that damn TLC there. Look at that. That was from when Punk was there originally. Got the ice cream bars. Look, there's some good WWE stacks right there. You guys get into big lots. Find your WWE. Look, I found that Swamp Thing series. I didn't show it close last time. Uh, that's pretty cool. Got a Night of Champions from 2013. Damn. The Handmaid's Tale Season 2. So, I've dug through here a little more. I think it's probably not going to be too much more you guys haven't already seen previously in other videos. That Eddie Macon's run, I, I highly recommend that if you haven't seen it. A couple more WWE titles, SmackDown 20th Anniversary. I've got that. I thought that, was that a double disc set before? Hmm. Survivor Series War Games. What else we got there? Nothing else WWE. I just wanted to show all the options in case you guys come in here and you're looking for stuff you know what to look for because I wasn't expecting to find these WWEs in here. Got a fan favorite four pack. All right, I think I've moved pretty much every stack. Oh, there's another one, SummerSlam. I've moved every stack in here, so... I don't think we're going to find a whole lot else new. But I'm trying to show you all the options, like I said. So I'm going to pick up a bunch of stuff in here, as you can probably tell. And then um, after this quick intermission, let's get home and I will show you what I actually did pick up. Let's go. <laughs> So what's up everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the jeff man 316 pop culture reporter channel i'm your host as always jeff man 316 that's me on the sign jeff man 316 live come over on the weekends we usually watch a movie 10 p.m eastern watch along to it talk pop culture talk movies anything else you guys want then also follow me on social media jeff man 316 on instagram because i also talk to you guys in my dms um we talk about you know movies trading all kinds of cool stuff so yeah, Big Lot still got the 20% off coupon. I know it's through at least today when I'm posting this video. So yeah, I got this case. And why do I get this case? Well, it says it compares to $24.99. I got it for $3.99 plus 20% off of that. And then I got some movies that I stored in here. Um, I just sometimes use these cases to transport movies up and down from my basement up here. Um, in the, the studio slash my little office room where I got a lot of my movies or if I haven't stored them away and they got slip covers on it sometimes I, I store them in these but um, before I put them on a shelf but yeah Walmart these things are usually 13 to 15 bucks without a top so I thought this was cool so I'm going to set this over here and I'm going to show you what I actually picked up Well, at least what I picked up other than that. So, well, I did pick up a couple of DVDs. If you watched the last video, that's mainly what I got in the last video. Um, and so, this one I started out with one. It's probably not going to be for me. It's uh, The Rebel, a season of that. I don't know if there's any more seasons of this. It says season one in all 36 episodes. So, I thought that was cool. That's probably going to be a gift for somebody. Um, the next one I did, this one's for me. It's B-Movie Cheese. It's a Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. Um, obviously, it's going to be a CGI shit fest, but oh well. thought that was cool, and that's from Uncorked Entertainment. So what do we got next here? What am I going to show you? I'm going to skip a couple of these and save them for the end. Um, you probably saw, you're going to know from what I was showing you in the video, what I actually picked up. Mostly Blu-rays. I've got american trader it says the uh, trial of the axis of axis sally got a nice uh, cast there um meadow williams but i got it because of the hat being al pacino and what looks to be either the worst wig or the worst photoshop job ever but he didn't look much better on the back cover but that's a vertical release so i picked that up um, 13 minutes. I remember seeing this at Walmart. I'm not sure I'm going to like it. It's got Trace Atkins in it. He can't be so good. But it does have Anne Hache in it. I think she's, um, she's passed away. So rest in peace, Anne. Um, you probably saw me pick this one up, obviously. Rogue Hostage. Got a decent cast. John Malkovich, anything he's in is pretty good. Hopefully he's in it for a decent amount of time. A lot of times they get high profile actors to be in these movies. 
uh, and they're only in it for a few minutes, kind of like Bruce Willis and Nicolas Cage did, but for a lot of their Walmart type movies. But Tyrese Gibson is in it. I mean, he hasn't done anything other than Fast Furious movies, right? Uh, what's next? The Cursed. Now, I know I already own this movie. It was in the horror pack recently, but for $3.99 and 20% off, I got it. For some reason, it's got a wonky ass sticker on the back. Maybe I'll use that in the giveaway. I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but we're pretty close to 3,000 subscribers. So once I hit it, I will do a giveaway. Uh, breaking. I've been wanting to see this. This is a Bleacher, Bleaker Street release. Um, I saw this in stores, and I, but I never picked it up, never seen it. So um, I think most of this stuff came from Walmart. Like those WWE DVDs. I didn't buy any of them because I own them all. But all those uh, are Walmart. Were sold mostly in Walmart. I know you can get them elsewhere, but the only brick and mortar store that had a lot of those WWEs was Walmart. Pick this up, Spencer. I thought this looked pretty good. So I remember seeing this in Walmart. Mainly on my Walmart has a lot of these. Uh, this is from Neon. A lot of those titles mainly on DVD. So it's nice to get these on uh, Blu-ray. Another John Malkovich movie, The Survivalist. I like that cover there. This is from Quiver. So really looking forward to seeing that. Uh, this is a movie that I think was in the horror pack, but I don't remember having a slipcover. But if I do, I went ahead and picked it up. It was the only copy they had of a lot of these. Uh, so, you know, most stores only got like one of each one of these from what I'm seeing in people's videos. So this has got a decent cast. Ron Perlman, Ali Larder. I remember her from the original Final Destination movies. Um, I like the looks of this. Casey Affleck and Michelle Monaghan. Every breath you take. The premise of this sounded good. It's a psychiatrist whose career is thrown into jeopardy after his patient takes her own life. When he invites the patient's surviving brother into his home to meet his wife and daughter, his family is suddenly torn apart. So hopefully it'll be better than it's rated R. Hopefully it'll be better than a damn, uh, you know, Lifetime movie of the week type of shit. Um, Infinite Storm. I really like Naomi Watts. So I thought that would be cool to pick that up. This is a um, another Bleecker Street release. Um, Skylines. Is this the sequel? I haven't looked it up. I don't know anything about it. So maybe you guys can tell. Skylines. Is that a sequel to the movie Skyline? I liked that movie, if so. So this is a vertical entertainment um, uh, XYZ release. So hopefully all these fucking movies won't end up in the horror pack down the line. The last one I picked up in this haul, check the other video out I did to show the DVDs I got. But I went ahead and got season one of Preacher. My Preacher uh, season one is in one of those comic book style cases. And I can't fit it on my shelf with my other seasons. So this is a double dip, but I like getting it in a um, case. And I remember some people found this in the damn Dollar Tree. Maybe like Doug, who follows me. I think maybe he found it in the Dollar Tree. But either way, I was glad to finally pick this up. The woman who, when I bought it, actually uh, commented that she loved this movie too. The one who checked me out. So, well, she didn't check me out, you know, but she checked me out at the store, you know. But either way, lots of Blu-ray options this time. So anyway, lots of Blu-ray options this time and a few DVDs. Look, Mega Score from Big Lots. So I'll cover up my ugly mug and hopefully you guys will support me and uh, watch all my videos. Give a thumbs up to this one. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Do all that normal YouTube stuff. Uh, keep the channel growing. We're almost at 3,000 subscribers, like I said. I'm going to do a giveaway. Keep, like I said, like all the videos. If you are a subscriber, don't forget to hit the notification bell. You need to know when I post new videos. So until next time, boys and girls, when we post some kind of over the movie hunt, pop culture hunt, uh, anything else movie related, like movie reviews. I just did my review of The Fall Guy. Check that out. This has been Jeff Man 316 I'm your pop culture reporter. I'm signing out saying you guys be safe out there. Thank you, God.